Hi, and welcome back to the 5-Minute Metadata video series. You may have heard people talk about standards and metadata, so today we are going to be answering the question, what is a standard? If you haven't come across a metadata standard, you may have talked about it before in daily life. So, let's first answer the question, what is a standard? The British Standards Institution describes standards as an agreed way of doing something. It could be about making a product, managing a process, delivering a service, or supplying materials. Let's look at some of these you may come across in your daily life, like how I get my morning coffee. Before my coffee gets to me, there's different standardized processes that it has to go through. Before my coffee gets to me, it's picked and packed up. There are food safety standards around how people handle my coffee, like how it goes into the bag or how it's weighed. There are different automotive standards that have to be taken into consideration, like how much my coffee can safely fit into a truck. Because of these standards, the product is delivered safely, on time, and with high quality. If standards are so important, where do they come from? There are two ways that they're chosen. It can be by a group of people who have agreed on a certain way of doing something based on customs or traditions, such as the layout of your keyboard or which side of the road you drive on. These are known as de facto standards. When it becomes important enough, these customs may be written down and agreed upon by a committee or a standard body, and can even be written into law for people to follow. So why are standards useful? When going to a cafe and ordering a small coffee, having something in a takeaway small may be different when having a coffee in a cup to have there. And some places may have different sized small cups. This is okay for your morning coffee. The size of the small cup doesn't really matter too much, but this may become a problem when trying to use this cup to measure for a recipe. Using the big cup would result in a gooey mess, so it would be terrible. And using the second cup would result in your cake coming out flat and hard and difficult to chew. And that's why there is a standardized cup for baking, so that your recipe will come out as planned. So how does metadata relate to all of this? By having a standard way of storing this information, we can see that this is easy to interpret and can be easily reproducible with the desired outcome, whether we are baking a single cake or running a bakery. The same is true for metadata. When we have standard metadata, our analysis of data is reproducible because we know it's the same. In future videos, we'll talk about how metadata can be stored. If you want to know more, please visit us at aristotlemetadata.com, and thank you for watching.